everybody or good afternoon or whatever you're watching the assembly time today. You know, and I was thinking that uh, although we've had a couple of assemblies together uh, through, the, through the computer on the, on, on, on the television, we've not talked about the whole virus thing and everything that, that's happening today. And I know it's been hard. Uh, since last March, uh, things have been very different and, and you've had a hard time and things have been difficult. And I was thinking about a few things that would make it really tough, really difficult. For example, there's the one thing that happened straight away is that you couldn't really get out and, and play with your friends like, like you did. Uh, for all for, for all the months and all the years before that and you think why is it why all of a sudden now can't I get out and play with my friends and I know now you're back in school and hopefully that that's better now but certainly it was really really hard wasn't it during those uh, during those first months when we couldn't do that but then I know there was another really hard part that maybe you couldn't get out to see your grandparents and you couldn't uh, be with them, and you could, they could, you couldn't stop overnight, maybe, and you couldn't even visit with them. And I know that's been really, really hard as well. And then I know lots of people uh, had planned to go on holidays, and then they couldn't get to go on their holiday as well. And we're the same way. We had planned to go on a holiday, and everything shut down, and the, and the, and the hotels weren't working. And so we had to cancel our holiday too. And it was hard because we were going to go to a place in England that we've never been before. And I was really looking forward to it. And it was going to be a lot of fun, but we had to cancel it. And I understand what it's like not being able to go on holiday when you had planned to go. But then when we started back in school, you're thinking, well, I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to be able to play and do everything as normal. Well, Things are a little bit different, aren't they? I don't know whether your school does this, maybe you do. Maybe you have to queue up and then wait to be let in. Uh, I know that there's a school right opposite of where we live and they have different gates and different classes go into different gates and they can't mingle and they can't uh, be, with, be, with, be with other people. And it is really hard. So today I want us to think just for a little bit about how do we do, what do we do with all that? You know, we have to be really careful that if you think about Jesus, when Jesus, all the things that Jesus went through, Jesus didn't have it easy. Just like we're not having it easy right now. Uh, in just a couple, two, in just a short time, we're going to be starting talking about Christmas and all those exciting things. And one of the first things that really is amazing to me is that when Jesus was born, he didn't have it easy. Why, Joseph and Mary, they had to travel a long way. They didn't, they didn't have, a, she didn't even have a nice place to stay. She didn't have a nice hospital to go and have Jesus in. She had to go into a barn. Can you imagine that? She had to have Jesus in a barn with all the smells and all the dirt and all the stuff all around. So Jesus didn't have it easy even when he was born. So I want us to think about that for just a minute today. And with all the things that you've struggled with, all the things that's been difficult for these last months, and even now when, when you're back in school and things aren't normal like they were, are they? Uh, it's difficult, it's, it, it's tough, but I want us to think about just a few things that may help us to be able to understand. You know, there are some good things that happened during, during all the lockdown, during all the times that we weren't allowed to, to play with our friends, we weren't allowed to see our grandparents. There were some good things that happened. What about all the time that you got to stay at home? We've had a really long holiday from school. Yeah, what about all the chances that you had or to, to play, uh, the chances that you had uh, to do all different kinds of maybe arts and crafts kind of things? I had a chance to, to, to stay at home and play with stuff and, and do stuff and things like this. Ready? One, two, three. 
What about all the chances that you had maybe to play games uh, and do other, sort, other sorts of things? How about all the times maybe that your parents were at home and you got to play with your mom and your dad or whoever looks after you more than you were able to before? Yeah. And maybe you even were able to do some cooking. Maybe you built, maybe you learned to do some, uh, to help your, uh, your mom or your dad or your, your sister or your brother, maybe to make some things, to bake some things, maybe you helped to learn to, to make tea some, all those different kind of things because sometimes it takes a difficult time in order for us to be able to learn to do other things. So what we need to do is we need to not be really, really sad so much about all the things you weren't able to do. How about let's change it around and how about let's look at it and think about all the things that we were able to do. All the things that maybe we did for the very first time and that we were able to learn as well. Because you know, like we said, Jesus had a hard time. but. With all the difficult times that Jesus had, all uh, you know, growing up as he did, and, and, and all those things, that a lot of people learned a lot of things because Jesus came into the world. And through the difficult times, through the hard times, even though it's hard, there's lots of good things that can come out. So let's really think about that, especially as we come into our harvest time is going to be happening very, very soon. So we're going to pray and ask God to help us have a change of mind. Help us to be positive about all what's happening, knowing that God's going to take care of us. Here we go. God, thank you for today and our different kind of assembly time. I want to pray for all the children. And I know it's been very, very hard over these months. They've not been able to to see uh, their, the, the grandparents as much as they normally would or see their friends as much as they normally would. And thank you, that's, that's much better now. But we pray that whatever would happen, especially uh, as winter comes, help us, God, to know that there's lots of things that we can do, lots of things that we can learn, even though we may not be able to do all the things that we want to do. Help us have a great day at, this, at school to do our very best and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well done, everyone. We'll see you next time.